Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and today I welcome you guys to the start of a brand new Fire Emblem Let's Play. This time around, we are checking out Fire Emblem Order of the Crimson Arm, made by the Mask Creator over at the Serenus Forest Forums. Now, you might think, Mengs, what's this? What makes this hack so special? The answer is, I have no idea. It doesn't have a unique menu, doesn't even seem to have a unique soundtrack, but what it does have is a self-inserted avatar, and it's finished. The moment I heard it was finished, I was like, yeah, I'm giving this hack a go. That is basically my mantra these days. If a hack actually manages to get finished, that's enough for me to check it out, because you guys know my stance on unfinished hacks in the community. So I was like, yeah, sure, let's check it out. I think it was made back in 2017. I'm not sure how recently it was completed, but I saw a bunch of screenshots uh, on my Facebook page, and a lot of people seem to be enjoying this hack. It's apparently a really simple... Uh, but very good Fire Emblem hack with some decent difficulty on it. That's as far as I know. So I was initially going to do a lot of research on it, but then I realized, you know what? It's been a while since I just jumped into a hack unprepared, not knowing what to expect. And that is exactly what I'm going to do with this hack. I am just going to be jumping straight into it. Now, this hack utilizes the tactician feature from Fire Emblem 7 very brilliantly. What it does is that, well, it has basically the same um, tactician features, as you would expect from Fire Emblem 7, but the tactician himself, or herself, you can make it a girl, is actually a playable unit, which I think is genius. Um, so, let's just type in my name right here. Now, this m this game uses some weird months. I think this is like the calendar of the universe or something, but I was going to select Yas because of Yas, you know, memes. Besides, it's what I usually select because it gives me the wind affinity, so let's go with it. So yeah, let us uh, use the settings and jump into the game. As always, if you want to play it yourself, links in the video description, directly to the UPS patch, and also to the treads on the forums if you want to go check it out. <clears throat> this is the prologue called Mercenaries. 18th of Hiath... Hiath? Oh my god, one sentence in and I'm already butching pronunciations. 10th and final day of the Gods' Feasts. It has been nearly a week since I found employment with the Woodrun Mercenaries, a simple title taking after the name of their island home. Shortly after my employment, I find myself here on a boat. On a boat, yeah, it's going fast, resist the urge. Through the mainland of Fadrel. Why can't they make names that are easy to pronounce? That's always my gripe with most hacks. Heading for the kingdom of Bervinia on the eastern coasts, the captain of my new company hopes to make his fortune. As our number accounts to only three, including myself, I have my doubts. However, as the newly appointed tactician, I am prepared to test my abilities in the pursuit of that goal. I... Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Is this guy playable? Ah, I need to complete the ship's register. You seem to be the last one. Manx, is it? If you don't mind terribly, would you please remove your hood? I need to mark everyone as man or woman. And yes, as you can see, um, no, this hack doesn't actually allow you to customize your avatar or anything. Oh, whoop, looks like the dialogue is moving on its own. Um, but normally you get this wonky black-haired guy when you select your avatar. Uh, but it says on the forum, Tread, that um, you can just insert your own portrait if you have it. So I just asked Thel and Flame, the guys over at the Fort Manx Emblem hack team, to just insert uh, their Manx into the game. So I figured, now it's me. Isn't that a lot more cool than just some guy with black hair? Hey, Manx. There you are. What are you up to? Simply taking notes, Captain. Just call me Oligmus. No matter where you are, be it on the barracks or the battlefield, acting professional is the first step to being one. An old maxim by my father. Yeah, this guy's a bit like Chris in Fire Emblem. 11. 12? 11? I think it's 11. No, 12. Hey, come on, we're mercenaries. You're sure your father was thinking of us when he said that? As sure as I have, and always will be, Captain. Haha, <laughs> Oligmus, I don't think this one's gonna budge. Well, if it is important to you... Oh wow, come look over here. We can finally see the continent. You see that? The continent of Fadrel. The land of our fortune to come. Just think, in a couple of years, everyone on that scrap of land will know our name. Uh, I can't say the coastline looks different from home, but... Hmm, what's the matter, Manx? Something is happening on the deck. Uh-oh. Alright, boys, now! What the? Ah! It's a mutiny! The ship is ours now. Kill the captain, troll the passengers in the bridge and loot them. It appears to be a mutiny, captain. Well, that isn't good for them. <laughs> captain? Well, it looks like our lucky break, Manx. 
I bet if we take care of these mutineers, the captain will give us free passage. I'm not so sure about that, but the alternative does seem nice. Or doesn't seem nice. Oh look, it's glass with weird hair. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Bass, there were some left. Looks like we've been spotted. Well, <laughs> you just say well. Seems like we've left with no choice. Ernst, clear out the lower deck of any of their friends, if you don't mind. With pleasure. Oh, is he like the Jagan? Hey, he's a Myrmidon. How? Uh, grr, I'll just take care of you lot. Here we go then. Mangs, here's your chance to show me why I hired you. Alright. So here we are. Let's just quickly get the uh, animations out of the way. What color should we go for this one? Let's go for this color, shall we? Okay, so here is the first map. It's a very simple first map by the looks of things. Here is our main character. He's called Oligmus, captain of a young mercenary company, straightforward and optimistic. He is a captain, spear-wielding mercenary, leaders out for glory. So he's basically a soldier. Or may I'd maybe say he's more like Ephraim, if anything. Um, and here we got me, Manx. I am a tactician. Uh, they use dark magic, as far as I'm uh, aware. Also, it seems like um, I thought that my affinity would be uh, dictated by the selection screen, but I'm pretty sure I selected wind, but I got ice, so maybe his affinity is set. I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed by that. He should get his affinity changed according to the menu. But I think maybe what that changes are maybe some growth rates or something. Uh, so yeah, the tactician in this game is a dark mage, and don't expect him to act any anything like me, by the way. He's very much acting like Robin or Chris, but hey, that's to be expected from an avatar. The boss is called Gojab. <laughs> Disgruntled sailor who calls himself the Grand, yeah. So yeah, let's just jump into it, shall we? As you can hear, this hack uses Fire Emblem 7 soundtrack, and that is completely fine. If there's one thing I've lambasted hacks for in the past, it's adding way too much fluff. This hack clearly doesn't focus a lot on fluff. Instead, it focuses on just finishing up a really good solid story, from what I've heard, with good map design. Uh, but there's a lot of, you know, simple elements to it, like the Fire Emblem 7 soundtrack, and no special menu. But I think this is fine. I think people should finish their hacks and then add fluff. I like Oligmus's animations, they're kind of cool. A little bit choppy at times. Could probably have a few more frames added to them. This might be a... Uh, be Fire Emblem 7 engine holding them back though. Uh, so I'm not really sure who if I should like feed kills to Mangs or if I should feed kills to the main lord. I'm assuming the tactician is broken as fuck because self-inserted avatars in Fire Emblem usually are and I don't think this hack makes any exceptions. Um, so we got a pirate over here. I've heard this hack is very difficult by the way. I'm not sure if it has a hard mode. Not to my knowledge it doesn't but uh, apparently this hack does not fuck around, so I've heard that it gets really hard really quickly. But that's about all I know about it. I tried not to do too much research beforehand, because I actually want to walk into a hack not knowing what to expect for once. It's been a while since I did that, that's what I used to do. I just found a map off the internet, just played it, and had fun with it. As you can see, Oligmus is already close to dying, so we should be a little bit careful. The boss doesn't seem to move though, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, look at this. The uh, combination of Manx and Oligmus takes down the bandits. Now, this hack does something weird where the enemies are purple and the playable units are sort of like blood red. Not sure if I'm a big fan, if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, my colorblindness will make it a little bit hard to spot who's the enemy and who's not the enemy. I wish you could change this, but yeah. I mean, this hack's got to have some fluff, right? Also, I just burned two vulnerabilities on the first map. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. Uh, it says vendor, but there's no vendor here. That's a troll move. So there are still some fights left in them, eh? Guess it's up to me. Who do you think you are? You think you can stand up to Kojab the Great? <laughs> uh, keeping a reference to Bada right there. I like that. That is cute. Alright, so can the combination of Manx and Oligmus finish this guy off? Should be able to. I'll just feed the kill to Oligmus. He seems like a solid dude. Alright, time for first Manx level up. Hit points, skill, luck, defense. Well, you know this guy ain't me, because his level's leveling skill and not luck. And down goes Gojab. What? How did you? <laughs> Even has the same death quote as Bada.
Hit points, strength, skill, and resistance. I have no idea if the growths are high in this game or not. I decided to intentionally not check them out. Alright, that's all of them. Hey, Manx, you don't look so good. I'm fine. That was my first real fight. It was more chaotic than I expected, even at such a small scale. Well, you handled yourself pretty well. Looks like I made the right choice in hiring you. I would have to agree. Oh, hi, Myrmidon Jagan. The triumphant hero returns. There was nothing triumphant about taking care of three or four runs. Who couldn't tell their left from their right? How unfortunate. Hmm, who's this fellow? Oh no, he just helped me out below. M my name is Curtis. When I saw Sir Ernst fighting below, I had to help. Ha, got a lot of this kid. He calls me Sir. I'm thinking, I think I like you already. Is that so? Well, what are your plans for the mainland then? Oh, well, I was planning to see if I could make something of myself. I was a town watchman, but I guess I'm an adventurer now. Well then, Curtis, how do you feel about making a name for yourself? Alongside Sir Ernst? Uh, I'd love to. I mean, it would be an honor. Then welcome aboard, Curtis. Excuse me. I believe it would be prudent to release the ship's captain and the remaining crew promptly. That is, if you want this boat to sail anywhere. Alright, Ernst, you come help me with that. Manx, I want you to get some rests. I'll come get you when we reach port. Yes, Captain. Alright. So it's time, time to continue the diary if you will. So this reminds me a lot of the, the Dream of Five thing, where you get to see the captain's log. Oh no wait, no 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 no, this is not the diary, never mind, this is dialogue. Manx, we're here! I thought he was gonna write in his diary again. Oh, okay. So yeah, only 11 minutes in, I think we can probably do chapter one. Feels a bit silly to release an episode with just 10 minutes. So yeah, chapter one. Caravan duty! Oh, I wonder what we'll be doing in this chapter! Yeah, here we go. So, he writes in his journal at the start of every chapter, similar to the Dream of Five skit. 23rd of Hiya Fair! Upon reaching port five days ago, the captain set out to find employments. He had found a job as a relief guard for a small caravan coming into town from the south. The job itself is as simple as it is as its pay. In fact, it's barely enough to cover the costs of lodging it. A point the captain readily brings up <laughs> ad nauseum. A favorite phrase from my father springs to mind. Diligence during even the smallest assignments will garner trust in your abilities. Yeah, we get it. You have a dad. And that's what I'm saying. If this wasn't the only job that was available, I wouldn't have taken it. This guild is full of the most mystery <laughs> shills alive. Thinking they can get away with 750 gold because it's only halfway. Well, we should just move on to the next town after this. Hopefully it will be the last we'll see of them. I would have to agree. In addition to the meager pay, they have not even arrived at the designated time. Tch, now they're just wasting our time. Though, we might be able to squeeze some gold out of them for this. Uh, Captain? Hmm, what is it, Curtis? Isn't that a person running towards us? What? Hey, you're probably a healer. Ah, help, you gotta come quickly! Slow down and breathe. Are you from the caravan? Has something happened? Yes, I'm Halen. We were attacked by bandits. Whoa, bandits in chapter one of a Fire Emblem game? <gasps> okay, I'll try not to be so sarcastic. How did you escape? One of them let me go. Please, we need to get those supplies into port. Can you lead the way? Yes. Oh gods, we're too late. They couldn't have gotten far. Let's go, Finn. Looks like they didn't go anywhere at all. Haha, <laughs> what a bunch of fools. Thank you, friends, for spilling the news on the other guards. Well, take your lies and your things now. No hard feelings. Ooh, wow, this looks a bit more threatening. Looks like this job got more interesting. Manx, we'll need to be careful. Can you handle this? Those are nothing but brigands. They will be sorry for their choice in the profession. That was the man that let me go. Please let me talk to him. Manx, it's too dangerous for her to go alone. I... I'll go with her for protection. Alright, so we got a white knight here. Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't show you guys the female avatar, but she looks like this, in case you wonder. Might as well show her off. She's kind of cute. She's way cuter than the male avatar. He kind of looks like a derp. So, we still have Oligamus. Now we got Ernst. Oh, wow, this is the Jagan. Holy shit, look at this guy. Level 10 Myrmidon. Oligamus is true vice captain, a former gladiator. Wow, look at the bases on this guy. So he's kind of like a half Jagan, if you will. He's an Oswin, if anything. Sort of like a high-level unit, but he's not quite a pre-promote. He's just very high-level compared to the rest of the guys. I guess that's one way to make a Myrmidon good. We got Halen, a cleric of the Church of Twelve, dutiful and caring. Alright, classic cleric right here. Cute portrait, though. 
And then we got Curtis the White Knight. I like it. He's got an angry face going on, but he doesn't behave like it. it's like, Oh, I'm Curtis! Oh, I look kind of angry, but I'm not! Oh. Yeah, you're another wimp of this Let's Play. Have fun with that. Alright, so playable soldier. Cool. So, this map looks very basic, but I like it a lot more than the first one. Well, the first one was nice. It was a nice introduction. This looks like a pretty typical chapter one. Oh my god, his name is fucking Boswin. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, his name is Boswin? That's way too fucking cool. I don't want to kill this guy. Can I recruit him? Speaking of recruitment, I think this is the guy that uh, a religious Bervinian bandit seeks redemption. What's kind of funny in Fire Emblem 7 is that you can tell if someone is recruitable if they have an affinity. I don't believe bosses have it. Nope, they don't. So, you can always check if someone is recruitable if they have an affinity. At least in most cases. There's some exceptions, like Lloyd and Linus from Fire Emblem 7. Um, Alright, so this looks actually a bit more challenging. So, let's see how we're gonna have to tackle this. We probably want to stay out of this guy's range, because we want to recruit him. So, maybe not send Ernst at him. Oh, wow, yeah, he does a lot of damage. Holy shit, he one-shots this guy. Ooh. Alright, let's see what Curtis is good for. And then, I think, Mengs should be able to land a kill here. Yep, look at that. Kinda nice to have access to dark magic so early on. Dark magic is traditionally something you don't get right away in a Fire Emblem game. Kinda have to wait a little bit until a dark mage shows up. And as a result, Flux tends to be pretty powerful. Um, right, so can we... Honestly, Ernst can just one-round this guy, and then if the bandit goes into Ernst... He doesn't have a, he didn't have a crit on him, as far as I can see, because he actually had a luck stat. I can see that the enemies in this game follow a similar trend to Fire Emblem 7, in that enemies don't seem to have luck at all. Yeah, look at that. Four luck, zero luck. Maybe the bosses have luck? Yeah, the bosses actually do have luck, but the enemies don't. Uh... Alright, let's just put her here. I'm not sure if the bandit will go for her or not. Oh, no, I don't think he's in range. Doesn't even have a battle quote. But this is fine. He's bulky. So I get a brigand immediately if he joins me? That's also really cool. <laughs> Bit of a choppy dodge animation if I ever sell one, but hey, I'll take it. There are mages, though. Are they moving right away? No, they're not. Thank God. Alright, so that was a little bit derpy. I need to make sure Martel gets closer. Um, okay, this was slightly scary. Um, this immediately got pretty hard. Can Ernst... Yeah, Ernst can actually one-run this guy, so that's great. I guess I'll just draw the remaining guys to the healer? Yeah, I would like to stay out of this guy's range, so maybe we'll just do a tactical retreat then. We'll just place our guys in the forest, maybe? I, I see what I can do here. Also, uh, we can check out our battle sprite, I guess, but I like to turn off healer animations. Yeah, she's a classic Ellen. Think that is the Fire Emblem 6 cleric? Pretty sure, because it looks exactly like Ellen. So yeah, let's just do this. There we go. And, wow, I'm gonna be so, like, I thought Curtis was an enemy. I'm gonna be so fucking confused. Alright, great. Good job, Oligmas. Hey, that guy's gonna be pretty good in, in dealing with the soldiers. And Manx is very frail. Holy shit. He cannot take a lot of a punishment before he goes down. And Ernst will one round another thug. Wow, this guy is really fucking good. It's kind of good. I actually don't mind it when hacks do these half Jagans. I actually think it's a nice compromise. Like, I don't think that a Fire Emblem game should have a Jagan, necessarily. You can get away with, like, a half Jagan. Staff of Aegis actually gets a lot of flack because it doesn't have a Jagan. You get, like, Frederica, like, pretty later on. She's sort of your Jagan, I assume, but not quite the same. Anyway, let us uh, go and recruit Mr. Bandit Head. Oh, look! This hack actually has custom soundtrack. Wait, I must talk to you. You! What are you doing here? I told you to run. Why did you let me escape? You are a priestess, if I'm not mistaken. 
I could not bring myself to kill a servant of the gods. If you could not stand such a sin, then why do you consort with bandits? This is all I've known for my whole life. Surely a lowly soul as I am beyond redemption. But the fact that you believe you so proves you wrong. What? You are aware of his own sin's weights. The supplies you took are vital to people's survival. Will you help us in recovering them? Uh, question mark, explanation mark, question mark, explanation mark, da da da, yes. You have this wayward son's soul and his steel. Wow, that was easy. It didn't take a lot of convincing, did it, buddy? <laughs> You're like, you are cute cleric, alright. Yeah, this is the problem when you play with custom animations. You keep forgetting you have to activate them for everyone. Alright then. Man, I am using urns way too much. But I don't care. It's not a pitfall. Surely it's not. I know I just walked into a giant pitfall with you using Eagler way too much in Fire Emblem 7X, but I feel like that game actually sort of punishes you harder for it. Um, Alright, so we got a mage here. I'm guessing Mangs will probably deal with that guy. Too bad I placed Mr. Uh, Soldier Face in his range, though. That kind of sucks. So, so far I'm not noticing any massive mechanical changes. Maybe the weapon triangle is different in the sack. These are the things that I sh maybe should have read up on, but I decided not to. Maybe I'll do it after a little bit. Uh, I guess we can check, actually. 8 magic plus 5, that's uh, uh, math. 13. Should be 13 damage against this guy's rest, which is 9 damage. So, yeah, it is the same. Plus 1 damage, 15%. Uh, oh my god, that's a crit. 3% crit. Nice. Sweet. Okay, I like it. Alright, should we test out uh, the new bandit? Is this guy... Yeah, this guy's in range of the archer as well. But this is fine. This guy's bulky. I didn't even check, it, check him out. So Martel... Well, yeah, well, I've already looked at him. Eh, I like these bases. Six speed is pretty good. You should probably be able to double pretty reliably. Not sure about his growths, but I assume they're good too. I don't like Curtis, though. He's probably my least favorite member so far. He doesn't seem very special. I guess that's what you get for being a soldier, am I right? This is Fire Emblem 7, where everyone has crit rate, except the enemies, because they don't have any luck. So this might mean that we get to see a brigand scream soon! Also, is it just me, or do their nameplates look a little bit shoddy? I mean, if you... If you look at, like, see where it says thug, right? Can you see those dots? That looks really, really stupid. Looks like it's made in MS Paint or something. Alright, should I feed kills to Curtis? I don't know, I guess I should. I mean, if he is really bad at base, logic dictates that he has good growths and will become a competent unit at some point, right? Right? Well, one thing's for sure, I'm gonna stop feeding kills to Ernst, because he probably doesn't need it. Wow. Alright, time to deal with the boss. Not sure if he moves or not. Guessing I'm gonna find out. Wouldn't surprise me if he does. Oh wait, he has a hand axe? Yeah, he does. It doesn't seem too scary, though. Doesn't seem scary at all. Let's see if he moves. Yeah, he does. Martel, you bastard! What are you doing? Walking the path towards redemption. Redemption? I'll redeem you by feeding you to the wolves! And you are the first step. Ow, okay, that was kind of scary. I forgot Martel wasn't healed. So yeah, that's actually a bit of an iffy uh, place for him, because... I might not be able to attack him. Ah, never mind, I can kill him with Manx. Yeah, easily. Let's weaken him with Ernst. Think you're tough, huh? I'll show you what a mistake you made! Ba -da 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 -dum -dum. All right, perfect. Then we'll get one last healing in on Manx. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing this or not, but it seems like some of the animations are a bit choppy. I'm not sure if this is due to the hack or what. Maybe it's just Fire Emblem 7. Maybe I haven't played Fire Emblem 7 in a long while, but I'm noticing like some slight lag in certain animations and stuff like that. But then again, this isn't like a brand new hack or anything. No, I should have just left. All right, time for Manx's second level up. <laughs> Something tells me the tactician has a lot of skill, guys. Not sure, but I'm getting an inkling that might be the case. 
That's the last of them. Let's get back. Let's get the supplies back into town. I never understand how I'm supposed to pronounce chick. Is it like, or is it like ch? Ch? I'm surprised you took all that without saying anything. What else could I do? They brought guards with them. And I would have been locked up for what I was gonna do to them. In any case, though they did default on their payment, we heard some good information. That we did. Centurim prepping for an offensive up at the northern border? It's a perfect opportunity. Then what are we waiting for? Let us go already. Maybe if we had the money. Let's continue on to the next town. We are bound to find a job on the way. You're right. I just hope it actually pays this time. Um, excuse me? Hmm? Ah, the cleric girl. What can we do for you? Well, if it isn't too much trouble, I would like to accompany you. Oh, why is that? I'm a cleric of the Church of the Twelve. Well, is that like the age of the priests in the chapel or something? Like, do they only have twelve-year-old girls? Like, once you turn thirteen, you're no longer a member? I don't know. She looks twelve. That's, that's the joke. As part of our duties, we travel with organizations to assist them. The caravans was my charge, but... Her skills would be useful, Captain. We need a healer. <laughs> of course, I won't turn down someone as helpful as a cleric. Welcome aboard, Halen. Thank you all, I hope to be of use. Do my best. Generic Nino character, eh. Oh hi, I'm generic brigand guy you just recruited. Oh, you're here still, what do you want? I am accompanying the sisters, so I shall also be joining you. You know, I'm not that fond of bandits, but you seem sincere enough. Mercenary work is bloody business. Then it is nothing new, save a more honest life. All right then, let's be off. All right, you know what? I actually like this hack. So far, it's very basic. Like, it's very basic, but I still like it. It's a good feeling, actually, to start a brand new hack not knowing anything about it. Reminds me of the summer where I played Staff of Ages. Uh, no, Staff, not Staff of Ages. The Last Promise. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that, and I feel, for some reason, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this too, because... Okay, it, it doesn't blow the roof of the house. It doesn't, like... Wow, look at all these fancy new stuff and like icons and animations and graphics and wow, it's just a very simple story. And it's fun to play so far. I actually enjoy the map design and you know what, as long as the map design is good, I'm playing the hack. The only thing that can really make me like stop playing a hack is if the map design is bland and boring. This seems fun. So I'm gonna keep playing it, and I hope you guys will enjoy watching it. New part comes out tomorrow. By the time you're watching this, I'm sitting on an airplane to Argentina to go see Mina. So I've decided this is going to be the last play that I have up in my absence. So I hope you guys will be enjoying it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do remember to give this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. And keep in mind, you can go over and play it yourself and leave some feedback for the uh, guy who made the hack, if you so want to. Tell him Mang sent you. Anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.